you know, I feel like we judge to go come away so harshly to a point where we cannot even say good in her. So, and today I am going to give her flowers and I'm going to apologize to her. But anyways, guys, without further ado, to welcome back to the chat with Dolphin. Please do subscribe, like, and definitely share this video only if I am a favorite cup of tea so guys um i know we are all away if you are my subscriber you know very well that i do reviews on Gogo Mawini, a show that is each and every saturday night around 8 o'clock p.m on mojo Love tv so we, um, we are on the final now and yesterday's episode was very very interesting maybe to me because i've never seen the good side of Mawini that um many of you do not know and i had to point it out you know um it's not a good thing to always speak ill about people but we do not have a choice at this point because of how Gogo Mawini portrays herself and how she perceives herself as you know first of all Gogo Mawini came to us as a witch and promoting witchcraft and witchcraft is something that some of us are not or are in denial that it does exist so like i'm saying um witchcraft it's a very sensitive topic especially to some of uh, us by long or we went through a tough a rough patch or a tough time in life so how can i love someone who promotes something a long or it makes me suffer it makes like it is happening to me and all that right so gogoma when he perceived or he represented herself as a witch and promotes um witchcraft more than anyone that i know we knew gogoma when as a witch you know the things that she do she do she does for people you know and the things still on her like oh is what did i eat in every time i mean like hence i'm saying i didn't even wanna see her good side because of the way she represented herself as you cannot come to me and represent yourself as a witch and expect me to treat you like a good person does it make sense so anyways on yesterday's episode it happened that um let me yeah let me just take my notes first um first of all um on the episode as you can see Coco Mawini's mother is shouting as uh, unfortunately i cannot play this because youtube is gonna ban me as you can see Coco Mawini's mother is angry is so yeah it's so angry and twerked up right and i know maybe you are asking yourself why and let me tell you um on this episode it happened that um gogo mawini's mother had a little misunderstanding or a conflict with um Isabella's brother right um the conflict was so hard to a point whereby Gogo Mawini's mother ended up saying uh, to Sabelo's brother that um, do not forget that my child brings a lot of money into this family. I was like, damn, what? She said, do not forget that my child brings a lot of money into this family. Do I think... Um, and she was supposed to say that? No. Why? Because you are a mother... And the last time I checked, you are older than everyone on this table. And you come here, you brag about how your daughter brings a lot of money to the table. Are you saying you could see doesn't bring a lot of money to the table? And at the end of the day, we are going to say, oh, Sabelo is a breadwinner. After what Coco Mawini's mother said. I mean, like, on a note. Um, according to my friend, like, maybe they should have uh, edited the video because, wow. How can an old mother say, Uguzi, my child brings a lot of money to your family or to his family, to her family? I mean, like, let's be honest, guys. Like, oh, what the hell? So, yeah, man, the argument was just about uh, the fact that Coco Mawini has three kids. Sabelo married her with three kids, whereas she can't give um, Sabelo a baby, right? And according to Sabelo's family, that one, it's like a red flag and they are blaming Coco Mawini for it. And, you know, uh, Coco Mawini's mother was just fed up on how uh, they treat her child. They treat her child like a witch. You know, they disrespect her child. They took... They they talk a lot about her child and all that and for that very very even if i was a mother I was gonna do that i was gonna speak i was
was going to defend my child. So she did well by defending her child. Just that I do not like the fact that um, she brought the money issue to the table. And I wonder what is going on behind those when they have arguments. When they have arguments, are you telling Samela straight to his face that um, you know very well that you don't bring money to the table. You don't bring a lot of money to the table. I mean, like for me, it's a red flag and a disrespect. So anyways, guys, let's move along on what happened. Um, another thing that happened was that... Um, I, I loved the I, like I, I, I always love the way Sabelo articulates herself. I mean himself. I love the way Sabelo treats himself and how well spoken he is. Like honestly, I can listen to that guy each and every day. I won't lie. I don't like uh, Coco Mawini, the things that Coco Mawini do. Ne? But like I love. I, I love Sabelo, man. I just love Sabelo. Like, he's so down to earth. Um, the respect that he has, you know, serene dignity that he has. Come on, like, that guy is a man. Like, that guy is Kimunda Ola. So, anyways, yeah, I mean, apparently I was not wrong when it comes to him. He's uh, loving and caring and he cares about, um, he cares about Kokoma Winnie's kids more than anything in the world. And he's so supportive when it comes to his kids apparently he treats his kids they, those kids like his and come on that's so beautiful to see like if indeed this is true it's not scripted i am proud of sabelo so guys um they brought up the the problem yeah the grave side uh, do you remember on my last video i once made a video talking about how sabelo is treated like a witch because uh, he went to the graveside with his wife and the family was not happy most especially his little sister was not happy because he even thought oh good to me but they did something to um her mother's grave uh, sabalo's mother's grave you understand and which is understandable because dating a sangoma it's not easy it comes with critics uh, people we got that they are gonna um criticize you even though it's not even true guys we have to understand that uh, they are fake and there are true sangomas out there and just i think maybe the, the way um coco Maweni represented herself like uh, somehow um made people to hate her the way they do so anyway you see i mean and they even mentioned the fact they are good see apparently but see when they felt like coco Maweni bewitched savelo or umlisili <laughs> Hey, this part, I was like, damn, Dolphin, hold my glass. But see, I go come when you would see me, you know, um, on that note, guys, I'm not sure about that. And I'm not going to comment much about that because honestly, Samuel and I, like, sometimes you can feel good thing. Maybe we're going to see you. <laughs> no, like the way guy at a corner, like you can tell good side no man. Something is off with this guy. But I just hope good to maybe Coco Mawini because uh she defended herself on that matter. She said I will never use love potion on my love. I will never I believe in love and come on, Lin Nam does say I do believe in love. Love does exist and yeah, true love for that matter. So Coco Mawini said, Oh good, you know what? I'm will never need this say in dot I am mean I believe in love. And yeah, I mean uh Sabel apparently but he's so strict and um, he's loving and caring and all that right so guys you know i just enjoyed yesterday's episode mostly because um i got to know Gogo Maweni very well and to understand where she's coming from why she's always rude on on national uh, i mean on socials right um she mentioned something that caught my eye she said People do not like me and it hurts me enough when they don't see the good in me. They don't see the good that I do. You know, I do charities. I always, um, you know, donate money. I always donate shoes. I always donate to people who are in need. 
but they will never talk about it they will just find something bad to talk about me and like for that guys like i really felt bad most especially because i always talk about gogo mawini but i do not remember saying something good about her maybe because uh, always open idea looks at the better guys gogo mawini i like honestly speaking i feel like it's time for her to show us uh, the real uh, hair because now she is relevant she doesn't need anything and she doesn't need to do anything to trend she doesn't need anything to be you know play gogo mawini the witch that's uh, yeah that's my opinion though so guys and they touched on the mawini cheating scandal do you remember the last uh, season guys where gogo mawini admitted that she was cheating on sabelo what, what 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 do you remember so yeah i mean they were talking about that and they mentioned this effect uh, that would see sabelo wants to take a second wife and gogo mawini said hell no i'm not gonna say you're not going to take a second wife Gila, I never that one will never happen so and also um it happened to good see gogo mawini cleared it cleared them a, a financial issue that everyone is talking about i lina ekiki like i mentioned already i feel like gogo mawini is a, a great winner so apparently what happens on the socials they see everything and they hear everything and it doesn't sit well with her hence you know she finally expressed how she felt about the whole situation and she even showed a uh, celeste that you know what um, uh, born uh, i'm receiving a i'm re i'm receiving a i'm receiving a wife allowance my husband has a company but that doesn't change the fact that your mother said ugutu when you bring a lot of money to the table bro come on come on anyways yeah man um yesterday's episode i uh, was uh, very educating i got to see Gogo Mawini, I got to see the real Gogo Mawini that um, is hiding and apparently maybe she might turn out to be, you know, a great person and honestly speaking, guys, I said this before, um, people will do everything it takes uh, for them to trend. Um, yeah, I don't like the way she came or the way she yeah she perceived herself as you cannot come to us and perceive yourself as a witch and expect to be loved i mean like who can stand in front of the congregation and say i love a witch no one so hence i'm saying it's time for us to you know um yeah it's time for her to change her ways and honestly guys i remember i once told you good kokoma when he is pregnant apparently it's true miguel is pregnant I saw her. Bona, she is pregnant and I'm happy for it. Finally, because you've been lying all along. Finally, you've been lying. So now you are pregnant and we are happy for you. You are pregnant with twins. Come on. Come on. I know you don't like Okuma Winnie, but come on. Yeah, let's give her flowers. Anyways, guys, so that's it from me. The chat with Dolphin. And please excuse my voice. It's Sunday. I'm tired. So see you on the next upload. Bye.